Hello students and welcome again to my channel. My name is Mr. Mesha Ngige and welcome to Emats with Ngige. If you haven't subscribed, kindly consider subscribing and let us continue learning mathematics. Now again, today I check uh, November, uh, October, November 2024 series. That is question number 8A, uh, which is a question on matrices. Okay. So the question says a 2 by 2 symmetric matrix, ha, uh, symmetric matrix A, has again values lambda 1 i equals to 3 and lambda 2 equals to negative 1 given that the again vector corresponding to lambda 1 is negative 1 1 determine 1 the again vector corresponding to lambda 2 and also determine the matrix a now these are very simple question and this one is 11 marks actually 11 marks so you can really get yourself some good 11 marks with this particular question now, there are two things you need to, to note as you progress or as you start working this question. One thing is one, it is a two by two. Second thing, it is symmetric. So that statement is a very important statement because we shall use it. Uh, we shall see what it means once we are done with the question. So now the solution. So we say there's this relationship. Um, so maybe if we can first of all write uh, the information here. Lambda 1 equals to 3. And lambda 2 equals to negative 1. Then the vectors corresponding to lambda 1 is negative 1, 1. So I can call it y1 will be negative 1, 1. Now, this one sometimes, so that you really understand what really me this means, we know that our matrix, the Egan vectors are always given as column vectors. Are we together? Where they're only given with one column. But this one now has been given in terms of a row matrix. Are we together? So sometimes you might find it might have a T. So it will mean the same, same thing. So it was supposed to be a column vector, but now the column has been changed to be a what? To be a row. Are we together? Then our Y2 who is the what you don't have so i can also give it in terms of x1 x2 again t so the t might be given or not but i'm just writing it so that in case it is not given once it is given you really don't tense so there's a property here for every symmetrical matrix we say for every the eigen vectors uh, when the eigen vectors are symmetrical i will also say they are orthogonal by the end of the day so and there's this property which says that y1 transpose multiplied by y2 should give you zero. This property alone will help you solve the first, uh, the first part. Because when you shall take y1 transpose, we multiply where y1 is the eigenvector, this one is an eigenvector, uh, where one of them is a transpose, then when you multiply them, the answer should give us zero. So therefore, let's use the information. So our y1 transpose is this. So it is given by negative 1, 1. Then multiply by y2. Now change this one to become a column matrix. So it is x1, x2. The answer should give us what? Should give us 0. So therefore, we know how do you multiply matrices? We multiply matrices using row, column. So negative 1 times x1 gives us negative x1 plus 1 times x2 gives us x2 gives us 0. The next step is make x2 the subject of the formula. So we make x2 the subject. Make x2 uh, the subject here. So therefore we shall have x2 equals to, when you take x1 to the other side, it becomes positive, x1. Therefore we say, how do we find our uh, eigenvectors? We let, we let our x1 to be 1. So therefore, when our x1 is 1, what is the value of x2? So if we put 1 here, what is our be a value of x2? Our x2 will be what? Our x2 will also be 1. So therefore, your y2 value is just given by 1, 1. Simple as that. Right together. So that is your y2. Then from there, we can now go to the second part. So the, the values corresponding to y2 negative 1 is given by 1 and 1. So now we go to the second part. 
we now solve for the matrix A. How do we solve for the matrix A? We have this relationship that says, if you have to find the matrix A, we take M, we multiply by that, then with the M inverse. Uh, where M is the what? M is the model matrix. And what is a model matrix? A model matrix is a 2x2 two two matrix made up of the Egan vectors. They are made up of Egan vectors. So we can now identify what our M is. Our M therefore will be our Y1. What is our Y1? Y1, where is our Y1? This one, negative 1, 1. So negative 1, 1. Then our Y2 is 1, 1. What is the spectral matrix? This one, this one is the spectral matrix here. So the spectral matrix is the, is the, we say, it is a diagonal matrix. And what is a diagonal matrix? A diagonal matrix is a matrix with only elements in the diagonal. All the other elements are zeros. So therefore, and it is made up of what? It is made up of the again values. So we shall have three, negative one, then we shall have zero, we shall have zero. Okay, this is interesting. So what is remaining? We are now remaining with M inverse. And how do you get the inverse of M? How do we get the inverse? We know the inverse will be given by one over determinant, interchange the values in the main diagonal, then change the signs in the minor diagonal. So we can get the determinant of M, which will be given by one times negative one, negative one. Minus 1 times 1, 1. So therefore, what will we have? We shall have negative 2 as our solution. So therefore, our M inverse will be given by 1 over negative 2. Okay. Then interchange the values in the main diagonal. So 1 shall come here. Negative 1 shall come there. Then negate. So if, it, if, if this one is a positive, it becomes negative. If, we, if it was a negative, they become positive. So in our case here, all of them are positive. So they change to become all negatives. Are we together? So now we have our M, we have our spectral matrix, and we have our M inverse. Therefore, we just arrange them. So we shall have, therefore, your matrix A will be given by our M is negative 1, 1, 1, 1. Our spectral matrix is 3, 0. 3, 0, 0, negative 1. Then we have our M inverse is 1 over negative 2. Then we have, sorry about that. We have 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. Okay, so this is our matrix. So how do we multiply matrices again? We multiply, uh, multiply them row column. So we shall take two at a go. So we shall take these two, then we have these two. Now we can multiply the two. Remember it is row column. Negative one times three gives us negative three. One times zero, zero. So we don't write the zero. Negative one times zero, Now, uh, negative 1 times 0 gives us 0. Then 1 times negative 1 gives us negative 1. 1 times 3 gives us 3. 1 times 0 gives us 0. Don't write it. 1 times 0 again, 0. 1 times negative 1 gives us negative 1. So when you multiply this matrix and this matrix, it is that simple. And it is actually very simple simply because this one is a diagonal, uh, diagonal matrix. So one of the numbers will always give you a whole number. And the next number that you're supposed to add or subtract to add basically is supposed to give you a zero. Because remember, one of the numbers here in the main, in the minor diagonal is all, uh, all the numbers in the main, minor diagonal are always zeros. So then we have one, negative two. 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. Again, this one is a constant, so we can just put it outside here. Then we can now multiply the outcomes. Negative 3 times 1, negative 3. Negative 1 times negative 1 gives us positive 1. Now remember, why am I multiplying them as I write them? This is because 
the term or the sign that joins the two uh, outcomes is an addition sign so if it, you multiply it and you get a negative it remains to be a negative when you multiply and you get your answer to be a positive it remains to be a positive are we together so i don't have to write negative three times one i write negative three then i write plus that is an addition sign then i multiply negative and negative again it gives me another addition and i write it again all together so i just we just multiply them as you write them down okay now we go to the second negative three times negative one that gives us three negative one times negative one gives you positive positive one all right now we go to the next negative three times one negative three times one gives us three negative one negative one gives us positive one then you go 3 times negative uh, 1, again negative 3. Negative 1, negative 1, positive 1. So therefore, we shall have 1 over negative 2. Negative 3 plus 1 gives us negative 2. Then you have 4, you have 4, you have negative 2. So you have that. Then from there, we know this one is a constant. So the constant or, or a scalar, it multiplies everything inside the bracket. So when you multiply everything inside the bracket here, you shall have your outcome being what? So negative a half times two give us one. Remember the negative, negative goes, or uh, two and two goes. Then you shall have negative two, you shall have negative two, and you shall have one as your outcome. So therefore your matrix A, remember we are finding the matrix what? The matrix A will be given by this. Now, that is the outcome. Now, what do we mean? And how do you know that your calculation is okay? Is going back to the question. The question told us that this matrix, particular matrix, is a symmetric matrix. So what is a, a symmetric matrix by the end of the day? A symmetric matrix is a matrix whereby if you take If you take the matrix and transpose it, it will be the same, same matrix. It will be the same, same matrix. It doesn't change. So, for example, if this is my matrix A here, if I change the rows to be column and column to be rows, I will get the same, same matrix. Right together. And how do you know that again? That is very simple because the terms in the main diagonal and the minor diagonal are always the same. So you can see our value in the main diagonal, it is one and one, and our value in the minor diagonal is negative two and negative and negative two. And indeed, when you just finish that, you gain yourself how many marks? You gain yourself some good 11 marks. So thank you and see you in the next revision.